Hi, and welcome back to session number three. This is um, all about systems of equations, um, and this will hopefully help you review this concept to get you ready for your algebra EOC. Before we begin some practice questions, I just wanted to point out a couple of reminders. Um, when you're looking at a graph um, and we're dealing about a system of equations, remember a system of equations is two or more equations. Um, and when we graph it, we can tell what our solution is. And remember solution, it's a fancy way of saying answer. So when we graph our two lines, if we see that they never intersect, that means they're parallel, your answer would be no solution. If you see that they do intersect, your answer is where they intersect. And then if you see that they're the exact same line, in this case it looks like there's only one line here, but there's another line that's on top of that, and apparently I can't draw a straight line, um, and that would be infinitely many solutions. You might not see um, the infinity sign there in class, but that just means infinitely many solutions. That means every single point is a solution because they're exactly the same thing on both lines. Alrighty, so let's go through and let's just practice one um, to see how it goes for us. This example is um, what is the y-coordinate in the solution for the system of linear equations below. Now on this one, it's a good example of what you could see on the EOC. Um, it's very specific here. It's just asking for the y-coordinate, so keep that in mind. Um, remember, there are three ways to figure out your answer, and it doesn't tell you which method to take. Remember, you could graph it if you wanted to. Um, we could use substitution. It means we get a variable by itself. And then we also could use elimination. So we need to pick one that we want to use. Now, for me, what I suggest is if the x and the y are on the same side, I would use elimination. Um, so notice they're on the same side. Elimination says that you have to have um, the same number in front of the x, one's positive and one's negative, to cancel it out. You're trying to eliminate a variable. Um, when I look at this, I, I know it says to solve for the y-coordinate, so some people might do this a little bit different, um, but I notice here that it's a positive 2, and that's a negative y. And the easiest way to make those opposites of each other, but the same number, would be to multiply that entire bottom equation by 2. So let me rewrite stuff. Let me rewrite the first equation here. I'm not going to multiply that one by anything. Sometimes you do have to multiply um, both equations, but in this case we're not. I'll grab the blue marker here for my second. That's 4 times 2, which is 8. Four, or 2 times negative y, which is negative 2y. And then 2 times 2, which is 4. Now, keep in mind um, that our goal is to eliminate a variable. That's what we're using elimination for. And when we do that, we usually add them to combine. Um, and remember, when we're trying to eliminate, we want one to be negative and one to be positive. So look at your y value. So you have a positive 2y and a negative 2y. Those cancel. And then you can combine this. So a negative 3 plus 8 is 5x. And then 6 plus 4 is 10. Now, this is where I say some people do this question differently. Notice the question is asking for the y coordinate, and we just eliminated that y um, coordinate. So we might be giving ourselves a little bit more work, um, but that's okay because it's just a review, so you can see how to find that if you do this as well. So this is 5 times x, and we do the opposite, which means we divide. So this gives us 10 divided by 5, which is 2. Now look at this, good testing strategy here, being aware of your question. Notice they give you two here in this question as an answer. They're doing that to trick you because this is the x value of your coordinate. Now we need to figure out our y. So to do that, we plug this in. All right, so where do you plug it in? You plug it into any equation you want. You could plug it into the first, to the second, or to the changed one. It does not matter. Um, I'm going to pick the 4x minus y equals 2, and it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to take the x out, and I'm going to plug in the 2. And I'm just going to solve this. So 4 times 2 is 8 minus y equals 2. Now to solve this, I take that 8 and I bring it over. Notice this is a positive 8, so I do the opposite. I bring down my negative y. 
and 2 minus 8 is negative 6. And then to get rid of that negative sign, I divide almost like a negative 1. I'm kind of running out of space here. So my y value is 6. Notice the negative, two negatives would cancel in that one. So here my answer would be D. All right, sometimes they might just give you a simple question like this. It says the graph of, this, of a system of linear equations is shown below. What is the solution to the system? Um, and so you would want to pick which solution you would like. Um, remember, solution is where they both intersect. So here it looks like they're both intersecting if you go over and up at 2 comma 4. All right, this one says Moe's Farm Stand sold a total of 165 pounds of apples and peaches. She sold apples for $1.75 per pound and peaches for $2.50 per pound. If she made $337.50, how many pounds of peaches did she sell? All right, so in these word problems, you've got two things going on here. You've got apples and peaches that you're selling, um, and you've got cost, and you've got the amount of pounds. So we want to create both. Let's just make apples X and peaches Y. So if we have 165 pounds total and it doesn't tell us how much of each pound we have, um, that would be one equation. It would be X for apples plus Y for peaches should equal 165. In other words, however many pounds of apples plus however many pounds of peaches would equal 165. So notice this first equation is just by that first sentence. All right, my next equation says she sold apples for 175 per pound. So I'm going to make an equation that's dealing with money. Now it's $1.75 per pound, but we don't know how many pounds she sold. That's where the X is coming in because we know each pound would be 175, so we would have to multiply them. We know that peaches is 250, and we don't know how many pounds, so I'm going to put a Y. But we know together we sold them for $337.50. So those are our two equations that we have. Um, one, remember, is the total amount of pounds. That's in green. And the other equation is in the total number of cost or the price. So you'll always have those two types of equations here. Um, so now I just need to solve them. So if you want to try this one before I go through it, go ahead and pause that screen. Write this down and see if you can solve it. And then um, click play when you're ready, and I'll go over it, and we'll see if your answer matches mine. Um, if you're confused on how to solve it, just stay with me here. Let's go through this. Um, first thing I'd like to notice, or for you to notice, is X and Y are on the same side in both of those equations. So that usually means, um, for me, that I'm going to use elimination. Doesn't matter. It's just what you prefer. Um, so I'm going to write those over here. And then x plus y, oh no, I forgot my x. All right, so I'm going to decide that I think I'm going to get rid of the y because 250 just seems good. So I'm going to take my bottom equation and I am going to multiply it by 2.5. Now this is positive, that one is positive, so that means it needs to be negative when I multiply it. So I'm going to rewrite it as negative 2.5x minus 2.5y oops, equals, and I'm going to grab my calculator really quick here. We're going to do in our calculator 165 times 2.5 negative, or negative 2.5. That gives me negative 412.5 or 0.50. Now I didn't change the top equation, so I'm just going to rewrite that for organization. Alrighty, now once you've done that, once you've matched your x and your, or one of your variables so that they're the same number, one's positive and one's negative, which is what we just did here in green, um, those would cancel, and then you're just combining by adding. So I'm going to grab my calculator if you need it, and you're going to do 1.75 plus negative 2.5, and that's going to give us negative 0.75x.
And then I'm going to do 337.5, 337, plus negative 412.5. And that gives us negative 75. Okay, we're one step closer. Um, remember, when we're point, negative 0.75 times x, we do the opposite, which means we're dividing both sides by this. Cancel, cancel. All right, so 75 divided by 0.75. Notice here I did not say the negatives because two negatives make a positive. And that just gives us 100. So let's go back to see what we know. Um, remember in the very beginning we said that x was apples, the amount of pounds of apples. So if we know that x is 100, that knows we have 100 pounds of apples. All right, now we need to figure out why. So in order to figure out that other section, um, or that other variable, I'm sorry, is you take that and you plug it in. I always pick the easiest. In this case, I'm going to plug it into the x plus y equals 165. So if I have 100, I have 65 left over. So that means that there are 65 pounds of peaches. So I'm going to look at my answer choices, and it looks like it's that third answer choice. Alrighty, we just went over a couple examples. If you feel like you would like to go over some more, you feel a little shaky um, on the concept of system of equations, check out this video just by clicking play. Um, remember, it will pause this screen, so you'll have to come back. Um, if you feel like you're good and you're ready to move on, um, you just click on this I am good to go button and it will take you to the next part of this video. Alrighty, I hope that this short video helped you a little bit. Um, if you would like some additional practice questions, this website right here is amazing, this little worksheet. It's got some practice questions that you can do for graphing, for substitution and elimination, and it gives you the solution, so you can always check your answers. Um, like always, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call um, or email me, and I would be glad to help. Thanks, and good luck on your EOC.